Kayla Maroney was a member of the Fierce Five who took the London Olympics by storm. But while the world was applauding her gold medal win, the young gymnast was being sexually abused by then team doctor Larry Nasser. According to allegations Maroney makes in this new explosive lawsuit. She also accuses the sport's national organization, USA Gymnastics, of signing a deal with her four years later, giving her money in exchange for her silence about the abuse. Michaela Maroney anchored the Fierce Five team in 2012 with incredible performances on the vault, Unbelievable. earning gold and silver at the London Olympics. But a new lawsuit says her career was cut short. The young athlete now suffering severe depression after years of alleged sexual abuse by team doctor Larry Nasser. According to the suit, Maroney believes Nasser took thousands of photographs of her continuously, obsessively, and compulsively, including while he was abusing her. Maroney believes the photos were shared by Nasser with other pedophiles. In September of last year, reports first surfaced of Nasser's crimes against young gymnasts. In December, Maroney went to USA Gymnastics, according to the complaint, to get financial help for psychological treatment. The Wall Street Journal reports the organization agreed to a $1.25 million settlement. Her lawyer says it was in exchange for signing a non-disclosure agreement. You don't help somebody by putting a gag on them and saying, oh yeah, we know you were molested, but you can never talk about it. In a statement, USA Gymnastics says in part, the concept of confidentiality was initiated by Michaela's previous attorney, not USA Gymnastics. Maroney's current attorney fired back. Telling NBC News, that agreement was written by USA Gymnastics lawyers, and it was designed to do one thing, which is keep their secret from the public. Maroney now wants the previous USA Gymnastics settlement overturned as unlawful and is suing the organization, Nasser, and his former employer, Michigan State University. Despite the non disclosure agreement, Maroney went public with her story in October, writing in part, I had a dream to go to the Olympics, and the things that I endured to get there were unnecessary and disgusting. At the time, USA Gymnastics publicly commended Maroney and other accusers for their courage. Because of their strength in coming forward, predators can be held accountable for their actions. They would try to look good by acting like they wanted her to come forward. That statement is the height of hypocrisy, and it's despicable. Two other members of the London team, Gabby Douglas and Ali Raisman, now say Nasser abused them too. Raisman recently speaking out on Today. I think he's a monster and I think it, it is so disturbing to me what he did to me and so many other people. Raisman has also been critical of USA Gymnastics. And I was basically told, you know, just to kind of keep it quiet and that they were handling it. And so they didn't let me help. Nasser is in jail awaiting sentencing on sex abuse charges against seven young girls in Michigan. He also pleaded guilty to federal child pornography after investigators found 37,000 images in his home. The former doctor will likely spend the rest of his life in prison. The USA Gymnastics statement says that attorney Gloria Allred represented Maroney when she signed the NDA during last year's agreed settlement negotiations, which are by law supposed to remain confidential. We reached out to Allred for a response, but she had no comment. Michigan State University also had no comment, citing the ongoing litigation. Yeah, just Guys. the fact he was able to continue to work for a year is, is pretty astonishing, yeah. yeah. All right, Steph, thanks. Thank you, Stephanie. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.